Hi, what's up you guys? This is your girl So with with Brit and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So today our tutorial for pattern making basics is about circular skirt. We are going to learn and understand how to draft quarter, half, and full circle skirts. Before we move on to our tutorial, make it sure to hit that subscribe and bell button. And if you are new to my channel, make it sure to check out my pattern making and sewing tutorials. Okay, so get your materials ready and let's get this tutorial started. These are the materials that I will use for this tutorial. Fashion ruler, pencil, pen, tape measure for rages drafting, fabric scissors, paper scissors, muslin for trial. In here, I got six yards of muslin, and of course, pattern paper. So these pattern papers were given to me by Prime Fabrics PH. They gave me 20 pieces and honestly, this saved me from searching the best pattern paper in our area. Please check out their Instagram account at Prime Fabrics PH. They sell everything from linens to satins, wools, cottons, laces, and so much more. Prime Fabrics is located at the second floor of Ali Mall in Cobao, Quezon City. You can also visit their online shop in Shopee. Before we proceed to pattern drafting, we must first get the waist measurement of our dress form. Or if you are going to make your own skirt, get the smallest part of your waist and record it. So on my dress form, I got 24 6 eighths, and this measurement is what I am going to use for this whole tutorial. Now we can proceed to our first circular skirt which is quarter circle skirt. This is the formula for the quarter circle skirt. We need the full waist, multiply by 4 inches and divide it by 6.28 inches. And the result is the ranges of the waistline for the quarter circle skirt. So this is an example of the measurement I got from my dress form. And next is the formula with sewing allowance and I will be using this ranges for this tutorial. For the quarter circle skirt or any circular skirts, we should always start drafting the ranges of the waist from the tip of the angle of our pattern paper. From my formula with sewing allowance, my radius is 16 6 eighths, and I will draft the radius from the angle using this measurement. As you guys can see, I am pivoting my tape measure and marking the radius of the waist. Take it slow when marking the radius. It is crucial that we get the exact radius of the waist and make it sure you are drafting a curved cone shape. After marking the rages, connect all of the marks using the fashion ruler. Next, put 4 8 inches of sewing allowance or your desired sewing allowance. Next, let's draft the skirt length. From the ranges of the waist, mark down your desired skirt length. For me, I am using 20 inches. Next, we can finally cut the patterns out from the paper. So before we move on for pattern cutting, here is a quick illustration to understand the right placement of the circle skirt pattern on the fabric. For the quarter circle skirt placement on the fabric, make it sure that it is on the 45 degree angle of the fabric, which is the bias. Just like on the pattern paper, find the angle of the fabric between the selvage and place the pattern on the fabric. By the way, we will only need one layer of fabric for the quarter circle skirt. Next. Pin the patterns on the fabric and cut it all the way. And now, we can try the skirt on the dress form. Et voila! Here is the frontal view. 
And as you guys can see, it looks like an A-line skirt and it doesn't have flares. Here's the side view. And here is the back view and where the zipper will be located. Okay, so let's now move on to the half circle skirt. For the half circle skirt formula, what we need is the half measurement of the waist and multiply it by 4 inches and divide it by 6.28 inches. And the result is the regis for the half circle skirt. Here is an example formula I got for my dress form. Next is the formula with sewing allowance included and I will use this for this tutorial. For the half circle skirt drafting, just like on the previous one on the quarter circle skirt, start drafting the regis on the tip of the angle of the paper. So my regis with allowance is 8 7 8 inches. After marking the regis, connect the marks with the fashion ruler. Next, put your preferred sewing allowance on the waist. For me, I am using 4 8 inches. Next is the skirt length. I am using again 20 inches for the skirt length, but you can make it longer or shorter according to your preference. For the front side of the skirt, make it sure to label it on unfold. And on the back side of the skirt, this is where the seam allowances are located. Again, cut the pattern from the paper and label it half circle skirt. Here is an illustration to understand the right placement of the pattern on the fabric. For this pattern, make it sure that the fabric is folded on the lengthwise grain. Place the pattern at the folded edge on the 45 degree angle which is the bias part of the fabric. For the half circle skirt, we need two layers of fabric folded on the lengthwise grain. Carefully place the pattern on the folded edge and pin the pattern in place. And after that, let's cut everything. As you guys can see, I laid my skirt on the table so you guys can see how it looks like laying flat. There you go. And now, let's try the skirt on the dress form. Et voila! So here's the frontal view of the half circle skirt. As you guys can see, there's a big difference from the quarter circle skirt and this time it has more flares on it. This is the side view and the back view where the zipper will be located. So let's move on to the last and final circular skirt, which is the full circle skirt. For the full circle skirt formula, what we need is the one foot measurement of the waist, then multiply it by 4 inches, and divide it by 6.28 inches, and the result is the regis for the circle skirt. Here is an example measurement that I will use for this tutorial. Notice that I didn't add sewing allowance for this pattern. We will add the sewing allowance later after drafting the skirt. For the regis drafting, as usual, we will start off again on the tip of the angle of the paper. My regis is 4 inches and I will be marking this measurement around. Next, connect the marks with the fashion ruler. Next, let's put the sewing allowance on the waist. For me, I am using 4 8 inches. Next is the skirt length. As usual for me, I am using again 20 inches down. You can make it shorter or longer according to your preference. Now that we have marked the skirt length, don't forget to label the first side as unfold. And now we can finally cut the pattern out from the paper. Next, get a piece of paper. For the full circle skirt, what we need is two patterns. And now, what I will do next is I will trace the first pattern to the paper, making a new pattern for the back side. Trace the first pattern to the paper.
and after tracing, label the first side zipper line and the second side as the side seam. Next, we will put sewing allowance on the pattern. For the side seam, I will use 4 8 inches of seam allowance. And for the zipper line, I will use 6 8 inches of seam allowance. After that, we can finally cut the second pattern out from the paper. Don't forget to label your patterns to avoid confusion. So this pattern is for the back, and the first pattern that we made is for the front. Moving on to the front pattern, I will put 4 8 inches of seam allowance on the side seam. And we are done drafting the pattern for the full circle skirt. Before we move on to pattern cutting, this is an illustration to understand the right placement of the patterns on the fabric for the full circle skirt. For the fabric, we need two layers. Fold the fabric on the lengthwise direction. Both are placed on the 45 degree angle of the fabric, which is the bias. But notice that on our front pattern, I placed it on fold. And on the second one, I only place it on the bias but not on the fold, since the second pattern has seams on both sides. Okay, so let's move on to pattern cutting. So here, I am going to cut first the first pattern which is placed on the fold and I place it on the bias. Pin the pattern in place. And now let's cut everything. So here's my first piece which is the front side. Next, I will place my back pattern to the fabric on the bias but notice that I didn't place the pattern on the fold. This pattern has seams on both sides. Pin the pattern in place. And again, let's cut everything. So as you guys can see, I have two pieces for the back pattern. And in here, I have the first piece for the front side. And this is how it should look like. The circle on the middle is the waist circumference. And in here, I've already sewn the front and back side seams together and the zipper or back seam as well. Okay, so let's try the full circle skirt on the dress form. Et voila! So this is how a full circle skirt looks like. And as you guys can see, the full circle skirt has more flares than the half circle skirt. This is a side view. And this is the back view. Seems like there was a structured pleat, but this is only the magic of bias cutting. I love it. So on the back, as usual, this is where the zipper will be located. By the way, you guys, archive your patterns for the second part of this tutorial, as I will teach you guys how to make box pleats for the circle skirts. Anyways, if you guys like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, Sew It With Brit, please hit that subscribe and bell button to be notified with my new tutorials. I will see you guys again on skirt styles and box pleat for circle skirts. Bye!